I am Dr. Yogesh. I welcome you to the last session in this lecture series on genetics and molecular biology. In this particular competency BS 7.4, we have almost cover, covered everything like recombinant DNA technology, related techniques, tools, vectors, enzymes which are employed in recombinant technology and the applications of uh, recombinant technology also. And we have covered polymerase chain reaction and blood transfer techniques as well. Now, coming to the last session and which is on application of PCR technique in molecular biology and genetic diagnostics. So we have understood that PCR is a technique in which uh, from a single DNA template or single, single DNA molecule, we can have, we can amplify the existing quantity of DNA to a desired quantity of DNA. Okay, and which can be, you know, used for further studies on that particular DNA molecule. So coming to the applications of PCR, it is employed in detection of bacterial infections. So we use tubercular antigen uh, studies for detection of tuberculosis. We use PCR technique in uh, diagnosis of retroviral infection. So HIV, HBCC infection can be detected with the help of PCR. In detection of infectious agents also we employ this technique. And application in forensic medicine. Specifically, like uh, we have studied that in DNA fingerprinting also, the PCR allows DNA in a single cell, hair, follicle or sperm to be amplified enormously uh, that is uh, used for identification of a criminal. In diagnosis of inherited disorder also uh, we use PCR. So known mutations for diagnosis of inherited disorders like sickle cell anemia, beta thalassemia can be there. PCR is used for that. The prenatal diagnosis by using chorionic villus samples and cells from the amniocentesis or maybe the circulating fetal DNA from the maternal blood can be used. Then in cancer detection also PCR is employed. Specific chromosomal translocation in case of chronic myeloid leukemia, several virus uh, induced cancers or cervical cancer caused by human papilloma virus etc. can be detected with the help of PCR. In transplantation also to establish the precise tissue type of uh, transplant. Okay, we use PCR and in DNA sequencing by Sanger's technique with the help of single stranded DNA, we use PCR to study evolution. The PCR is used and uh, it has actually revolutionized the studies in archaeology and in paleontology. By this technique, even minute quantities of DNA from any source like fossils, mummified tissues or hair, bones can be studied by amplification of the existing DNA. Then in sex determination of embryos also, this technique is employed. The sex of the human or livestock embryos fertilized in vitro can be determined by PCR. Also, it is useful to detect sex link disorders in fertilized embryos. And to determine the viral load by a real time PCR, the viral load can be quantified, quantitated, which can be useful for diagnosis and for, for monitoring the progress of an infection and also the response to the treatment can be seen by determining the viral load with the help of real-time PCR. Okay, these were the applications of PCR and with this we finish lecture series on molecular biology and genetics. This is the literature which was used for complete uh, compilation of the lecture series. So, it is a good set of uh, literature. So, you can refer it for the further studies. So, thank you so much for watching the entire lecture series and this video. Hope you have subscribed to the channel for more lectures on advanced topics under genetics and molecular biology and uh, uh, hope you hit like and share the video amongst your friends so that maximum uh, beneficiaries can get access to it. Yeah, Thank you so much and thank you for motivating me throughout this lecture series.